Hey everyone, welcome back to Sweet Beat TV. I'm your host, Sienna Leone, and today we are on the carpet for Amazon Studios' new movie, The People We Hate at the Wedding. Let's see who we catch. You are so hilarious. Every movie, especially this movie, you made me laugh. Your husband is hilarious, Dax Shepard. Tell so, me about it. I need to know, did the two beautiful children get the funny gene? TBD? <laughs> I think we're teaching them joke structure at home, so I, oh, I it's actually a thing. Oh, You're yeah, yeah. Oh, How to wow. tell a knock-knock joke, why a joke is funny, because it's something unexpected. Um, going back to the well, we were, were in a big don't go back to the well uh, place in our household right now. Because, you know, going back to the wells when you do a joke too many times okay. and it becomes unfunny, mm -hmm. kids have a tendency to do that, so we're trying to break it early. Well, they have big shoes to fill, that's for sure. I did hear Kristen Bell say a big part of why she took this movie was because she was a fan of you. So when you hear that from Kristen Bell, how does that make you feel? I mean, it makes me feel wonderful. I love her. I've been a fan of her as a performer for so long. She's in this musical on television called Reefer Madness back in the day that as a musical theater nerd I really loved and I followed her career ever since. Um, and it's just, you know, to, for someone you respect so much to say such beautiful things about you feels wonderful. She, I, she's my sis now. So. Absolutely. I mean, how much fun was this movie to film? You have such a great cast list alongside you. Ben Platt, Kristen Bell, so many others. But was it just so much fun to come to work every day? There were so many great moments I got to do in this. Just even my opening scene was so much fun for me because I love to do the physical comedy. And that was a perfect introduction to a character of one of my favorite of anything I've done to, to introduce the, the Donna's introduction. And, and just being in London, which is one of my, my, favorite, uh, my favorite cities in the world, uh, that was just beautiful to be there. It was perfect weather we had and, and getting to go all over the countryside, parts of, 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 of England I've never been in. Um, and it was, it was just a lot of fun. And Ben and Kristen are, I could travel, I could go on a road trip with them across country. That's how, uh, that's how I determined if I really like someone. I feel like, could I go on a road trip with them? Those two I would go anywhere with. They're so great. It was great, yeah. And again, we were shooting on location in London, which is just such a gift in of itself. And then getting to work with, uh, I, I mean, yeah, like everybody was just so incredible. And, you know, I'm a huge fan of Ben's music already. Uh, Kristen I was a huge fan of, Allison I was a huge fan of, so it's like I think it's great that we're actually getting to sit there in between takes and just have normal conversations with them and, and, and uh, shoot the shit as it were. Uh, it, it was just a joy and, and a privilege because you don't always get that with some of these bigger stars, you don't always get to have that normal interaction, but uh, you know, they're just normal folks, so yeah, it was Absolutely. nice. Yeah. What was the best part of playing your character? Oh, the best part was with the wedding, the wedding, everything just, <laughs> everything planned just falls apart. And that's the beauty of it. <laughs> a beautiful mess. Loved you in this movie. You've seen it. I have seen it. I had the pleasure of seeing it on my couch today and I was laughing so hard. So tell the viewers what we could be expecting from your character. Uh, yeah, I mean, I play a guy named Dennis, just a normal guy from Kansas named Dennis. Bottoms. Dennis, Dennis <laughs> Bottoms. Uh, I don't understand what's funny about that last name. Moving on. Nothing. Um, but yeah, no, I just play the love interest of uh, Kristen Bell's character. Uh, and yeah, it's the movie itself is about this dysfunctional family that sort of falls apart while away at this uh, uh, London wedding and how they sort of find themselves uh, again after this this falling apart and um, in, in terms of Kristen's uh, storyline I sort of play a part in allowing her to see herself as I see her. Now you play Ben Platt's love interest. He's Paul and Dominic. So how was it working with Ben so closely? Oh my god, it was amazing. Uh, we had met a few months earlier, actually before doing this movie, at a mutual friend's party. And I remember being very starstruck, being like, Ben Flat is at this party. And then he came up and we like had a nice conversation. And then a few months later, we were doing this and he texted me right away. And he was like, this is my number. Let's hang out. And he was just the nicest, kindest person. And then once in a while, there was like a piano or an instrument nearby. He would just start playing it and serenading us. And I was like, this is a bonus on top of that. I know you come from a musical theater background you are an amazing actor amazing singer this is a hard question to say but what what one did you fall in love with first musical theater was the first thing I fell in love with everything combined because I started doing theater when I was six years old um, and so for the, my whole childhood it was very much only musical theater and then as I got older I started to kind of pull the things apart and try to really isolate acting and music and singing and all of that um, but musical theater will always be my first love your character Donna I watched the movie today you did. 
It made me step back with how I saw Alice and Paul treat Donna. It made me step back and call my mom and say, hey, like, I love you. If I'm ever giving you tough love, like, I love you because you see in this movie such tough love she's yeah. getting, but you do everything to protect your children, so. Yeah, Donna is only as happy as her unhappiest child, you know, <laughs> and she she's holding a lot of secrets. That she's trying to protect her kids and accepts their resentment because she knows it, you know, she's just trying to do the best for her kids and she thinks she's putting so much, uh, hanging so much on this wedding, hoping that, that this will be the thing that brings them all together and somehow she just, there's, she will not give up her hope for that to happen, which I kind of love about her. Absolutely. Now, Dennis was kind of giving me some I love you from Schitt's Creek. Ted is amazing. So I just think of you like, I was just this character brings me back to Ted because you guys are, both characters are such nice guys and you kind of get toyed around a bit. So I almost feel bad for you guys in a way. I'm like, oh! You know, I think uh, it's the nice guys finish last thing, except uh, I've been lucky to play nice guys who, who finish, uh, you know, second or third maybe. Uh, no, yeah, I, I, I think, uh, yeah, there's certainly similarities in that both the characters have a, a sense of earnestness. I always try to bring a sense of earnestness uh, to, to the roles that I play, and uh, yeah, that can manifest as, as nice guyness sometimes. Yeah. Now, family dysfunction, as I just said, I think we all we all have a little family dysfunction. So my next question is do you ever believe there's happily ever afters with families or do you think it's okay I love you I'll take this situation for what it is and let's carry on move on and carry on I think it's about <clears throat> accepting who people are and not um, knowing that they're it's not gonna be what you want and, and uh, especially with family you have to just learn to to love them in in spite of in spite of <laughs> Pros and and even in spite of their whatever it is, you just can't. You just have to. You there's always something that you can find in a family member that you love. That part of your relationship where you before things went bad that you can love. Like oh my gosh, I loved my brother when he was ten, and I'll always love that little boy. And so you hold on to that, or you hold on. You hold on to things that you can love, and then you, you try to let the rest go and and uh, make peace with it. What a carpet that was. Thank you so much for tuning in. We caught up with Kristen Bell, Ben Platt, and so many more. I hope you guys loved it. And be sure to be giving this video a big thumbs up and subscribing to Sweetie High down below. As always, I'm your host, Sienna Leone, and we will see you guys next carpet. Bye, everyone.